Okay, first thing you want to do is start by prying these up and popping them out of the way. One on either side. They're held in by four little push clips like this. Put your little pry tool in, pop it out. There you go. Two 10 millimeter bolts here, two seven millimeter bolts here. back and dry. Pop your shift up. Turn it off to the side to get it out of the way. Next you have to remove these two trim pieces. Next thing you have to do is lightly pull it out, but you have to unplug your accessories down here, which is your gauge and your cigarette lighter. Right here. Next, you're going to remove the four 7mm bolts. Next, you're pulling out your satellite radio CD. And unhook, it looks like, seven harnesses in the back. Next, you're going to remove the 7 millimeter bolts. There's one, two, and three over here for your screen. After you remove those bolts, you kind of want to lift up, give her a turn, and get her out. That way, you can disconnect all your connectors on the back. After all your connectors are unplugged, remove the screen in the up position. Next thing you're going to want to do, grab yourself a small little Phillips head. You have three screws on the inside of your glove box. One, two, three, little Phillips head. Take them out. And then on the bottom, you have four more seven millimeter screws. One, two, three, four. Take them out. That way you can remove your glove box completely. have access for running your wires. The manufacturing instructions it's always asking for the antenna to be in the passenger facing position with your ports for your wiring harness facing your stereo compartment and your access ports to be able to do updates easily accessible for future reference. So what we found is we can slide it right up inside here. It's making clearance on everything including our dash panels and easy to access with our harness. Of course, you're going to want to secure this thing with your Velcro double-sided tape, whatever you need to do, and your mounting brackets that come with the kit. That way it doesn't move when you're moving the car. Next thing you're going to want to do is start hooking up your harness to your factory connectors. And don't hit your wiper blades. Start plugging everything back in. So start here. Let's see you. Make sure you're wiring everything that you plug in all of your connectors the way they need to be. Tuck everything, make, you know, that way it's completely out of the way. You have access to everything and then zip tie to keep it organized and out of the way if you ever have to open it up to do any type of update or reinstall. Go ahead and pop your side panel out of the way. That way you can run your lines for your antenna that needs to be mounted up in the front corner. That way it keeps it nice and clean and out of the way. Connect your GPS wires for your screen. The uh, female goes to your male, and then the male goes to your female on this, and then reconnect your factory wires. Be 
careful when you reconnect everything because your screen will close. And what you have to do is you have to reconnect your center console. That way you can push your nav button to make sure it comes back up and you can put your bolts back in. Make sure when you're putting your screen back in that you tuck all your wires and your connectors completely out of the way. That way that there's no pinch in between the back of the screen and your mounting points. Make sure you hook everything back together so you have everything operational and it's working appropriately. Make sure all your buttons work, your nav works, your screen works, your radio works. When you get power to your screen too, you want to make sure you hit the auxiliary because it's going to be doing a funny flickery thing and that'll take you into the V-Line option so you can start hooking up all your accessories. Next step is put your dash, console, trim pieces and everything back together and we'll show you what it's like when we're done. First thing you're going to do is click on where you have the nine dots and then you're going to go into settings. That way you can start to pair your phone. Connect new device. Bluetooth connection. Turn it on and start pairing your device.